Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review. With me, Peter, the master of Hockets, today looking at another beer that I got from bestofbeers.dk, a Danish web shop uh, that you guys should check out that has a good selection of craft beer, and this is one of them. This one is a newer, not the newest, but a newer release from Lindemanns, and this is the Lindemanns Blossom Goose. So this is a Lindemanns Goose made with elderflower on 6%. Uh, I think this is in the Cuvier Rene series. The Cessier is based on a blend of 12 months with two to... Uh, wait, one second. Second in the series, I think, yeah, the first one in the series was the uh, McKellar Cola, the uh, Basil uh, Goza that I reviewed, or the Basil basil Lambic. And, uh, yeah, it says, yeah, Botanical Lambic, makes sense. The other one was Botanical. It says, uh, second in the series, Blossom Goza is based on a blend of 12 months with two to three year old lambic fermented in oak and elderflower. The, the English is not very good on the back, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so Blossom Goza, elderflower lambic with two to three year old lambic in it. So yeah, should be interesting. Uh, I only think I've had one elderflower lambic and that was uh, Cantillon Mamouche, which is amazing. Yeah, so it should be interesting to see how this is. Uh, really nice golden yellow color white head to it let's take out the aroma very oaky very oaky and i'm definitely smelling the el elderflower oaky funky tart grassy it almost smells like weed <laughs> oddly enough like almost like a dankness which is interesting lots of oak very oaky corky not super sour kind of like barnyard funk thing Good kick of of oak, lots of oak and lots of funk, and a good kick of the little flower. Wow, uh, it's yeah. Earth, I heard in the background people say earthiness. Yeah, it's it's quite earthy, um, earthy, funky little flower kind of with tons of oak, tons of oak. Mm, smells interesting. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Thanks to Best of Beers for the beer. Wow, that is different than I thought it'd be. You're definitely getting the elderflower, almost getting a bell pepper type flavor to it. Bell pepper, and elderflower, and tons of oak tartness without being super sour. And a good deal, I think the bell pepper might be the funk actually. Some lemon, lime, definitely the oak. Um, it's got that classic kind of barnyard, musty old cellar flavor. Very dry, mouth feels medium, but it's super dry. Really uh, dry lambic. But nice, it's got a nice kick of elderflower flavor. Kind of reminds me of my grandmother's elderflower cordial that she makes once a year. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I, I think I prefer Mamouche a little bit more from Cantillon that kind of have or has more of a intense elderflower flavor, but it still has got a good kick of elderflower, but man, it's got a lot of oak flavor. It's almost got a peachy stone fruit flavor to it as well. But yeah, it's pretty nice lambic. I like these Cuvirene or the the actually like tart sour lambic from Lindemanns compared to the ones like the just Lindemann Creek or Lindemann's Cassis and whatnot. Cassis has got some nice flavors, but those are n not as sour as these uh, Cuvée Rene bases. And I definitely think the base for this is some of their Cuvée Rene or something, because it's definitely much more sour than some of the others. But yeah, it's pretty good. I think in this botanical series, I prefer the a basil one a little bit more. That was really nice, but this is also, I mean, really nice Lambic. Uh, pretty good stuff. Not as good as my mouche, but a really nice elderflower forward uh, Lambic. So, rating wise for the Lindemann's Blossom Goose. Let's go straight up 90. It's pretty nice. The only thing I don't like too much is that almost bell pepper, green pepper flavor. Kind of weird. I don't know why I'm getting that. <laughs> But it's still nice stuff, worth a go for sure. If you want to try some of the more experimental stuff 
from Lindemann's, you need to try something like this and also the Blossom Goose, uh, or Blossom, sorry, uh, the, um, uh, the Basil Lambic. I think it's, what's it called? It's McKellar Lindemann's, I just think it's called Basil Lambic. It's actually really good. So I also did a review of that, guys, if you want to check it out. So thanks a bunch to Best of Beers for this one, guys. Check them out. Definitely let me know what you think of this one if you've had a chance to try it. Let me know what your favorite Lindemann's Lambic is. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. And I'm going to say cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.